shelled by Gaddafi forces, not just driving him from power and out of Libya, but trying to kill him. We got our first inkling after those massive airstrikes Tuesday on, on Tripoli. They targeted Gaddafi's compound, a location that's been hit again and again. Last night in this program, John Burns, the New York Times, in Tripoli said he'd gotten indirect word that it was hit yet again on information that Gaddafi had returned there. And Burns visited the site of another strike on a desert compound of Gaddafi's, which seemed to indicate he was being targeted. Well, now tonight, we have word directly from a senior military NATO official that NATO is now targeting Gaddafi. The justification for killing Gaddafi, according to this source, falls within the UN Security Council mandate for the operation. Now, here's what UN Resolution 1973 on Libya specifically says about protecting civilians. Demands the immediate establishment of a ceasefire and a complete end to violence and all attacks against and abuses of civilians. And it goes on to say it authorizes member states that have notified the Secretary General acting nationally or through regional organizations or arrangements and acting in cooperation with the Secretary General to take all necessary measures. That's the key phrase here. All necessary measures to protect civilians and civilian populated areas under threat of attack in Libya. So apparently NATO believes the efforts to kill Gaddafi are justified because Gaddafi is the commander-in-chief of a military force which is killing civilians. Now it's unclear if NATO has just come to this decision to try and kill Gaddafi, but it does appear to be a departure from what at least was earlier the publicly stated mission. Listen. There's no question that Libya and the world would be better off with Gaddafi out of power. I, along with many other world leaders, have embraced that goal and will actively pursue it through non-military means. But broadening our military mission to include regime change would be a mistake. Well, joining us now, CNN National Security Contributor Fran Townsend, who's breaking tonight's story.